end up with the end tassels or the ends of the broom corn left over that uh, really make for a nice pot scrubber. It's uh, some, the kind of pot scrubber that you can use in your non-stick stuff, in your dishes, you name it, it's great for, for scrubbing pots. I usually go through one or two of them a year, um, which is kind of a lot better than the stuff you buy in the store, plus they're pretty. So I'm starting out with a, a nice wad of broom corn here. And I'm going to wrap it and then kind of do like a clove hitch wrap on it to get me started. And then uh, I'm going to tie it once so that I can, you know, get a nice good start on this. I'm going to go around again and hitch it up one more time. And get a knife here and trim that off. Distributed. The ends will, will trim off straight um, after we get a little further on. And I like to butt up uh, the broom corn right up against the previous row. So wherever I'm seeing cord underneath is where I'm going to end up with more broom corn. layer of, uh, of uh, cord right next to the layer that I just wound around so that they're in, in a nice neat row. Go around one more time and I, I do like a little bit of a, a handle on, on uh, my pot scrubber, something that I can hang on to with my hand. So I'm going to V oh. off. So I've got what we call a V off which is going to give me some length in the handle of my um, pot scrubber is done is when I get to a, a point where um, I began my we my winding of the cord um, I go around several times you know three four or five times and then I start veeing off in um, the direction that I'm moving and then I start winding it again so that I end up with but it ends up looking more like an N, but we call it a V off. So in that, I'm doing another probably four um, layers of, of cord. And I'm going to do a, a rule breaker in the same spot so that I can have a little bit of length to where I'm weaving. So I'm actually making an X across my V and joining up again with my original row of cord go around another time here and right about here is where I can actually add in my pull cord and this pull cord is going to be so I can hang it up by my sink and it can dry out because if you leave these if you leave uh, any kind of scrubber well it's whether it's a commercial scrubber or one that uh, you made yourself 
you leave it laying around with water in it, it is going to get musty and moldy on you. So, I'm going to spread those out a little bit. So I've incorporated the pull cord that Dan made on the Lucette into this. And I'm going to go around probably just once all the way around because it is going to get bound into my weaving. So, now I'm ready to start putting a handle on this. I'm taking these stalks. These are half stalks of our original broom corn. Um, and uh, we, we save all of the ones that we cut off just for the purpose of um, making handles and doing weaving. And I'm putting it with the pith side out as I weave it. And so I'm going to just put it right in here and I'm lining it up fairly close to where I ended my, or began my wrap. And so I've got one in there another one and these are, I do a butt up against each other and uh, I position them fairly tight. Okay, I have got all of my uh, stalks on here with the pith side out. So I'm going to keep an, some nice tension on here and start bringing this up. I'm going to go probably three or four times around. One more time around and then I'm going to V up a bit so I can have uh, some length in my handle. around. I'm going to back up just a little bit, go around myself, go around it once. This is almost like a clove hitch when you do it this way, so uh, you end up with a little bit of structure to it. So now I'm all the way around again, so I'm going to start bending over my stocks. And uh, I, I bend and tighten as I go. Trying to keep them all nice and nice and even together. Got, uh, my knob here. I'm going around several times. Where I start my way around, and I've got um, about the end right there. Um, I don't know how many stalks I have here, so I'm going to count them. I'm hoping I have an odd number because it makes it easier for me to weave it. Then okay, we've got one. All right, we have an odd number, which makes my life a lot easier. So I'm going to start going under and over with these, and I bring it up to the top as much as possible as I tighten. This is going to make really a nice, pretty weave. And I, I tend to like um, a nice tight weave. In fact, sometimes I'll get really picky and I'll split all the stalks an extra time so I have a really delicate weave as I go. And I must have miscounted because um, I have, uh, it looks like I have an even number of stalks and not an odd number. So I'm going to split one down the middle because I don't like to confuse myself any more than I have to. So I split one, which means I have got an extra one to weave down.
into that pretty good for a pot. So I'm going to start tying off here. And I'm pretty much right where I, I started. And uh, so it, it keeps a lot of, you know, some pretty good consistency. I think I can go one more. Yeah, I'm going to go one more stock, and then I'm right where I started. So, tighten that real good. And my lovely partner just uh, gave me a pulling off loop. So, tightening down. And again, every row of string is tied up against the last one. I'm going to put a pull cord in here, and uh, I'm putting the loop side this way and the knot side this way so I have something to pull on. And the, the reason I'm putting a pull cord in here is so that when I'm ready to cut this thread, I can pull it through the whole bunch there, and um, it's going to tie itself in really nice and tight. That cord is wet. Okay. Go around one more time and then cut off my cord. And I had a knife here. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to cut my cord. There. I am now free from my spinner. Got my. my pull cord here and I'm holding down the cord in my wrap. Bring this through. And I'm going to tighten this down real good. And give it a good yank, hopefully. There we go. I suppose I don't have to pull this all the way out, but I am. Because I'm being very picky. And you can see how tight this is. There, This is not going to escape from here. Pull my pull cord off. It is really tightly bound on there, under there just as if it were uh, an intentional pull hitch. At this point I can trim that off. Ready for